The mystery of Coral Castle begins when Ed was born in Riga, Latvia in 1887. That part of actually Florida about 100,000 years ago, the beach, that's where you see it. creations. Scientists finally solved castle quarry and flywheel mystery. The Coral Castle's quarry and the flywheels have finally been unraveled by modern scientists. But before then, lots of people have been curious about the mystery behind this magnificent construction. Less than 100 years ago in South Florida, a 5-foot-tall, 100-pound, chronically ill man of Latvian descent took 2.2 million pounds of Florida limestone, some chunks weighing up to 10 tons, and built a castle. How he did it remained a mystery for decades, but not anymore. Born in 1887 in Rujana, Latvia, was one of the most mysterious men that ever walked the earth, Edward Leedskalnin. Leedskalnin grew up in a farming family and received only a fourth grade education. As a young man, he apprenticed as a stonemason in Latvia, where he learned the basics of working with stone. Edward Leedskalnin was a man of modest means and minimal formal education. Yet, he harbored a fascination with the natural world and a determination that would lead him to create one of the most enigmatic structures in modern history. In 1912, at the age of 26, Leeds Scownin left his home country and immigrated to North America, eventually settling in Florida. Edward fell deeply in love with a young woman named Agnes Scuffs when he was in his early 20s. Agnes was 10 years younger than Edward, and he affectionately referred to her as his sweet 16. Edward and Agnes became engaged to be married. However, just one day before the wedding, Agnes called off the engagement. The reasons for her decision remain unclear, but it's widely believed that her family may have influenced her choice, or she simply didn't reciprocate Edward's deep feelings. Heartbroken and devastated, Edward left Latvia and eventually emigrated to the United States, seeking a new beginning. He spent time in various states, including Oregon and Texas, working odd jobs and trying to rebuild his life. In 1919, he was diagnosed with tuberculosis and moved to Florida for its warm climate, which was believed to be beneficial for his health. In 1923, Edward began his life's work. Using only rudimentary tools, he embarked on a project that would consume the next 28 years of his life. He called it Rock Gate Park but the world would come to know it as the Coral Castle. Working mostly at night and in secret, Leedskalnin quarried, moved, and sculpted massive blocks of coral rock on a mission to create the most intricate and enigmatic structures that would ever exist. Leedskalnin made use of simple tools, many of which he fashioned himself from discarded car parts and salvaged materials. These included basic hand tools such as chisels, hammers, and wedges. Despite the simplicity of his tools, he was able to cut, shape, and move massive coral stones, some weighing up to 30 tons. In all of this, Leed Scownin was known to be a solitary and private person. He often worked at night, from midnight to the onset of sunrise. This he did primarily to maintain the secrecy of his techniques, and of course to avoid the heat of the Florida sun. This nocturnal schedule gradually added to the mystery surrounding his work. The sheer physical effort required to move and position the massive stones is astonishing. However, Leeds Cowling claimed to have discovered the secrets of the ancient Egyptians and possessed knowledge of magnetism, anti-gravity, and other mysterious forces that enabled him to move and manipulate the massive stones with relative ease. Despite the immense weight and size of the blocks, Leedskownen allegedly worked alone and refused to allow anyone to observe his methods, adding to the mystery surrounding his techniques. Throughout his life, Leedskownen was known for his reclusive and eccentric behavior. He often spoke cryptically about his work and beliefs, leaving behind writings and pamphlets that hinted at his unorthodox views of science, nature, and the universe. Some have described him as a modern-day alchemist or mystic, while others view him as a skilled craftsman and engineer ahead of his time. Leedskownin devised a means to single-handedly lift and maneuver blocks of coral weighing up to 30 tons each. In Homestead, Florida, using his closely guarded secret, he was able to quarry and construct an entire complex of monolithic blocks of coral in an arrangement that reflected his own unique character. 
On average, the weight of a single block used in the Coral Castle was greater than those used to build the Great Pyramid. He labored for 28 years to complete the work, which consisted of a total of 1,100 tons of rock. What was Leedskown in secret? Is it possible for a 5-foot-tall, 110-pound man to accomplish such a feat without the knowledge or techniques that are uncommon to our contemporary understanding of physics and mechanics? Leedskownen was a student of the universe. Within his castle walls, built of coral blocks weighing approximately 15 tons each, he had a 22-ton obelisk, a 22-ton moon block, a 23-ton Jupiter block, a Saturn block, a 9-ton gate, a rocking chair that weighed 3 tons, and numerous puzzles. These personal accomplishments have astounded and surprised many engineers and technologists who compare them with those achieved by workers handling similar weights in industries today. For his miracles of construction engineering, Leedskownen received attention not only from engineers and technologists, but from the US government, who paid him a visit hoping to be enlightened. Leedskownen received them gracefully, and they left none the wiser. Legend has it that his greatest inspiration came from the heartbreak he suffered after his 16-year-old sweetheart abandoned him. Spurned by his lost love, he set out to prove to her and the world that he could do something remarkable and make something of himself despite his poverty and fourth-grade education. And he succeeded spectacularly. Though Leedskownen was a private person, he opened the park in 1923 as a tourist attraction and would often greet visitors to personally show them his handiwork. In November 1951, Leedskownen became ill and checked himself into Jackson Memorial Hospital in Miami. He'd been suffering from malnutrition and other health complications. Despite his self-reliant nature and determination to work alone, his health had deteriorated significantly by this time. Leedskownen was diagnosed with advanced stomach cancer, which had gone untreated for a long period. He passed away shortly after his admission to the hospital, taking the secrets of the coral constructions with him. After his death, a set of instructions was found in his possessions, which led authorities to a small bank vault where he'd hidden $3,500, his life savings. After his demise, many sources claim that the castle, originally called Rockgate Park, is scientifically inexplicable. According to the attraction's website, Coral Castle has baffled scientists, engineers, and scholars since its opening in 1923. It's appeared countless times in books, magazines, and television shows. Rock musician Billy Idol even wrote a hit song about the place Sweet Sixteen. The park is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. For decades, the park featured a perfectly balanced stone gate that, despite its weight, would easily swing open with a strong breeze or the push of a finger. How it worked remains a mystery. One theory suggests that Leedskownen may have quarried the stones himself from a nearby source using basic tools and techniques. Some believe that he may have used simple hand tools, leverage, and other rudimentary methods to extract the massive coral blocks from a nearby quarry site. However, no definitive evidence has been found to confirm the exact location of the quarry or the process by which the stones were extracted. It was also proposed that Leedskownen may have used a form of ancient or lost technology to quarry the stones with greater ease and precision. Some speculate that he may have possessed knowledge of advanced engineering techniques or principles that allowed him to manipulate the stones using principles such as levitation, anti-gravity, or magnetism. These theories, while intriguing, lack empirical evidence and remain speculative in nature. Additionally, there are legends and stories that suggest Leedskownen had a supernatural or mystical ability to move and shape the stones of the Coral Castle. Some believe that he may have had access to secret knowledge or abilities that enabled him to manipulate the laws of physics and gravity, allowing him to accomplish incredible feats of construction that defied conventional explanation. Furthermore, the Coral Castle's construction process and the quarrying of the stones have been the subject of numerous investigations, documentaries, and studies aimed at unraveling the secrets behind Leedskownen's remarkable achievement. 
Archaeologists, engineers, and historians have attempted to piece together the puzzle of how a single man working alone and under mysterious circumstances was able to create such a breathtaking and enigmatic architectural wonder. One of the intriguing aspects of Leeds Scowlin's work at the Coral Castle was his use of large flywheels in the construction process. He claimed that these flywheels played a crucial role in helping him move and lift the massive stones that make up the Coral Castle, which includes blocks weighing several tons each. According to Leeds Scowlin, the flywheels were a key component of his method for manipulating the stones with ease allowing him to single-handedly construct the impressive structure over a period of several decades. Flywheels are mechanical devices that store rotational energy. They consist of a heavy wheel or disc mounted on an axle, with the ability to efficiently store energy in the form of rotational motion. When a force is applied to the flywheel, it accelerates and stores energy, which can then be released to perform work. Flywheels have been used in various applications throughout history, such as in early machinery, automotive systems, and energy storage systems. Despite Leedskownen's claims, the exact nature of these flywheels and the mechanisms by which they operated remain shrouded in mystery. There's no concrete evidence or detailed explanations to support his assertions of anti-gravity or magnetic manipulation in the construction of the Coral Castle. Many researchers and skeptics have proposed alternative theories, suggesting that Leedskownen may have employed simple mechanical principles or techniques that are not widely understood to move the stones, rather than relying on esoteric or supernatural forces. Some researchers suggested that Leedskownen may have used the flywheels as a means of storing and releasing energy to facilitate the movement of the large stones. By harnessing the rotational energy stored in the flywheels, he could have potentially created a system that provided the necessary force and momentum to manipulate the heavy stones with precision and control. This approach would align with the basic principles of mechanical engineering and energy transfer. Another perspective speculates that the flywheels may have served as a type of counterbalance or stabilizing mechanism in Leedskownen's construction methods. By strategically positioning and using the flywheels in conjunction with other tools or equipment, he could have maintained equilibrium and control over the movement of the stones, ensuring that they were positioned accurately and securely in place. Some have even proposed more unconventional theories regarding the flywheels, suggesting that Leedskownen may have incorporated principles of magnetism or anti-gravity into their design and operation. While these claims remain speculative and lack empirical evidence, they add to the mystique and intrigue surrounding Leedskownen's work at the Coral Castle. As tempting as it is to view the amazing park through a veil of mystery, in fact, we know how the castle was built. Creating a structure like the Coral Castle today could probably be accomplished in a few months with a construction crew and modern machinery. But Leedskownen worked alone, using basic tools like picks, winches, ropes, and pulleys. Leedskownen himself said that he did it using hard work and the principles of leverage. The tools he used to quarry the rock are on display at the Coral Castle, and several old photos depict the large tripods, pulleys, and winches that he used to move the blocks. Though the quarried stone slabs are large, they're actually lighter than they appear because the rocks are porous. That being said, a lot of the myth that surrounds Leedskownen himself and the construction of the Coral Castle is just that, a myth. It's nice to imagine Head Leedskownen, who was reportedly 5 feet tall and 100 pounds, levitating alongside his limestone rocks, but much of the magic at Coral Castle is believed to be just physics. And while Ed Leedskownen never expressly detailed his process for building Coral Castle, he wasn't that secretive about it. His toolshed contained pulleys, hand tools, and everything you'd need to work with rocks. Plus, as experts point out, while heavy, limestone's also rather porous, so it's not as difficult to move as you might assume. Overall, the castle is comprised of 1,100 tons of rock, which involved hard work, but probably not magic. Though Leedskownen worked alone, he was not a reclusive hermit. He had friends who he saw often. One man, Orville Irwin, was not only a longtime friend of Leedskownen's, but also a building contractor with a deep knowledge of construction techniques. 
Irwin wrote a 1996 book with the inspiring title Mr. Can't is Dead, the story of the Coral Castle, and in it he explains through photographs, drawings and schematics how it was done. Irwin pours cold water on the paranormal theories that unknown energies, alien technology or levitation built the castle. In fact, he finds such theories an insult to the hard work and integrity of his friend. Back in the days when Ed started carving out his original stones, Irwin writes, this was a generation who knew accomplishments by the sweat of the brow. It wasn't mysticism, but hard work. This is how Ed really accomplished the massive project. Edward Leeds Gownan's life story is shrouded in mystery and intrigue, adding to the enigmatic aura that surrounds him and the Coral Castle. Despite his humble beginnings and limited formal education, Leeds Gownan's construction of the Coral Castle stands as a testament to his remarkable ingenuity, determination, and unconventional methods. Edward Leeds Gownan's life story teaches us about the importance of imagination, hard work, and curiosity. His mysterious work at the Coral Castle makes us wonder about what humans can achieve when they put their minds to it. It encourages us to think about things that we may not fully understand yet, sparking our interest and making us want to learn more about the world around us. Lead Scounin's ability to create something so extraordinary all by himself shows us that with determination and creativity, we can accomplish great things. His story reminds us to never stop exploring and seeking answers to the mysteries that surround us. By questioning the unknown and pushing the boundaries of our knowledge, we can discover new wonders and possibilities that inspire us to keep dreaming and reaching for the stars. In the end, Edward Leeds Scownan's legacy challenges us to embrace the wonders of the world with open minds and hearts, encouraging us to seek out the magic and marvels that await us just beyond our current understanding. His enigmatic tale continues to captivate us, urging us to ponder the mysteries that still lie undiscovered, sparking a sense of awe and curiosity that drives us to explore the limitless possibilities that surround us every day.